let nature do the yeah. course. The, do the work. Do the work. I don't know about these things. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I would not even lie to you. Otherwise, uh, breastfeeding, I think that's a no brain. Like the baby's here. Boom! We are ready. Ciao ragazzi! Let me just try to make sure that I'm in a comfortable position before we start chatting. Uh, lately, I'm only chatting in a standing position. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but this is the way I feel comfortable at the moment. A little bit of uh, chit chat, especially with uh, women that are following me, super moms and super parents out here, just to get some tips. My mind has been all over the place lately, and I would be lying if I say I'm not scared. The fear of labor and the thought of what it is uh, giving birth and how does that process go and I feel I have a very thick book where I also it was recommended to me by the gynecologist so I have to know different birth options and stuff but I have read it a lot, but I still feel like in the end, I don't really know what, what, what am I expecting? When do I know I'm in labor, all these kind of things, and how does the birth process go? And everybody say it's painful. <laughs> how much pain, how painful is it really? And how am I going to cope with this? So this is also keeping me up a bit, or oh, let me put it, in an honest way, this is keeping me up a lot, making me anxious. Now I have about four more weeks left. We don't really know, like it's like the baby can come anytime, but I have at least if if the baby doesn't come right away, then I have at least maybe three to four more weeks to to find some mental tranquility. How am I going to deal with this? Oh. Maybe you just never need to prepare. Just show up and get through the process. Yeah, I, I don't know. Also, this is something I don't know how to prepare for. <sighs> A lot of recommendations. Some people say do squats. Some people say you need to do if take evening promise oil. Uh, oh, you need to do some massages. Well, oh no, go swimming or something like that. But the last appointment, which was yesterday at the hospital, when I spoke to the doctor, I was like, no, none of that really helped. There's no scientific proof. And I have read online that it's actually no scientific proof for most of this kind of just home remedy and self-medication stuff. But yeah, my midwife recommended some stuff, some teas and all sort of things. And I'm not sure, should I take it? Should I not take it? <laughs> Is it going to help? Is it not going to help? I don't know. Like this evening promise oil, I have heard about it a lot from uh, other YouTubers who did like an natural birth. Also squatting, if you do a lot of squats during the day, it should apparently help. Okay, what are, what are they called? Kegels, like this uh, pelvic, lower pelvic muscle exercises. Should also help because you obviously just strengthen the pelvic muscles and these are the muscles that you need for delivery of the baby into this world. Midwife, what's that? This clean every single couch. My midwife, I have like a wife in the middle. Yeah, but me and you there is a midwife. Yes, between you and me <laughs> there is a wife in the middle. There is a wife who is middle. helping us bring the child into this world. I don't think it's funny. Yeah, let's see. I would love to hear from you guys what works. How do I mentally prepare myself for this pain? And how, what do I need to do? And do I need to take the tea? Do I need to make the squats? Do I need to make the pelvic exercises? It, when I get all this information, I feel like, why didn't I just get informed about this already from grade 10? So I have enough, enough time every year to learn about this. Like these pages that we got from the midwife about all the exercises to do and when it comes to breathing during labor 
How does it go? Do you show up now in the labor room with a lengthy exercise number one? <laughs> Contractions are coming? Or? I think if they would uh, make more courses in high school, about this uh, how to and what uh, pregnancy involved and giving birth involved. They probably, a lot of uh, really early pregnancy in, uh, in teenage years, <laughs> they, uh, they were not going to... They are going to prevent a lot of teenage yeah. pregnancy, yeah, from a prevention. But I'm, I'm thinking, the information that I get in the third trimester, which is supposed to be everything I need to do to prepare for natural birth, is a lot. How do you guys prepare for this? There are some days when I feel like, yes, I'm ready. Going to get, I'm going to get through this. There are some days when I'm like, okay, this is freaking me out. Maybe I should not be googling things on internet, which is my number one problem. I should not be researching things on internet and watching other people's uh, bad vlogs. That actually also scares. It just scares me. It scares me a lot. Parenthood, uh, preparing for motherhood, am I doing enough, am I well prepared? <sighs> I feel like you get a lot of recommendation also from the midwife, from the gynecologist, from, I don't know, from books that you read. I have also a very thick book about what to expect as a first time parent. And buy a couple of stuff, uh, do some exercises, what, what. But, if I, as the days are getting closer to giving birth, and every day I'm asking myself, am I ready to be a parent? And I'm like, okay, I'm not sure if I, like, how is it really going to be? I'm not sure. And Ali feels like, no, you don't need to be ready. You just wait until the baby is born and, you know, you adapt and you, you try to, to cope with the new situation, no matter how it's going. Whatever it's going to be and how it's going to be, that's it. You're a mother and you move forward. Um, is that also how you guys approached motherhood or parenthood or you did a little bit intensive preparation? I don't know how, what else I can do to prepare apart from I bought baby clothes, I bought powder milk, I bought feeding bottles, thermometers and all these things. What else can I do? To prepare and am I doing enough I ask myself several questions sometimes just really freaking out and, and then nervous and overwhelmed but I'm thankful because my partner is calm and super prepared now it's not like it's preparing anything but it feels like you don't need to be prepared in any way wait for the baby to get here and get to know the baby and let the baby get to know you and you get along as you go. And post the very last thing that I wanted to talk about today is postpartum recovery. How long does it actually take after a natural birth? And of course, we still initially we also thought if we should consider other things like giving birth at home and things like that. But I think the hospital will be the best. But how is the recovery, postpartum recovery? How do I prepare for that? What do I need? <sighs> it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Some research says, or some experience says, okay. Two weeks, I was okay. Some people say, I have literally seen some of my friends three days or a day after they were walking in, or they gave birth in the hospital three hours later. They were on their way home. And I've seen some people say, oh my goodness, it takes like six weeks to really heal or even more if you do natural birth. It's, uh, I don't know. And what do I need? I had a list of stuff that I read that I thought I needed. I shared this with my midwife and she said, no, you don't need to buy a whole lot of or perennial bottles and specific disinfectant and all sort of things. This is going to be a natural process and it's going to be just fine if you let nature take. Just, you know. Let nature do the, the course. The, do the work? Do the work. I don't know about these things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I would not even lie to you. Let nature, it's like, mm -mm. 
I just don't know how to do things that way. I don't know, also because uh, in case you are sick of it, something, if you just let, uh, let nature do their course, you're just going to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you are hungry, <laughs> let nature do... Do their course, <laughs> yes. So, Stop! I'm going to feel a little bit more than I can feed myself. <laughs> that is the course. Uh, mm -mm. It is the opposite of... Because you know me, I'm a very calculated, planning... I... I put pretty much a lot of thought in every decision and situation before I, I I decide to do something or how I'm going to do something. I do a lot of thought and about situations and this is one of those where I just I can't really put so much thought to it because I don't know what to expect, especially when it comes to natural birth. And it's it's uh, difficult to know how to prepare when I don't know what to expect. And this goes the same way for the three topics, parenthood, postpartum recovery, and labor and delivery. Some people now say, no, labor is like you being hit by a car. <laughs> you just run over. You're yeah, being hit by a car. Yes. So that's how the worst I've heard. Yeah, can you imagine? Some people say, no, it's just like period pain. I have never had period pain. I also don't know what that is really. <laughs> Naya, what else would I want to add to this? I think this is the main topics that are really keeping me up most of the time and keeping my mind just all over the place lately. Um, otherwise, breastfeeding, I think that's the no brain like the baby's here. Boom! We are ready. In the meantime, I just need to eat all the food that is essential for stimulation of uh, milk production but yeah i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about these three topics especially postpartum recovery give me some tips how does how do i prepare how does it go what do i need how long does it usually take for natural birth um i would love to know parenthood how do you prepare for that especially mentally and emotionally, how do you prepare for that? And then like, oh god, I'm even scared of just saying the word itself. <laughs> do not over, over exactly. Yes, and I have a guy here who is just saying, oh, I know you like mangoes. I bring you a mango in the delivery room and try to distract you so you don't focus on the thing. And that's how I know this is going to go wrong <laughs> if you bring a mango to the table. Enjoy this kind of video guys. I'm here, Lempy of Lempies. I make videos pretty much about lifestyle, everything around here at the moment. The only lifestyle happening around here is pregnancy and preparing for the babies. See you in my next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.